In today's Thunkable Tip, I'm going to show you how to create a media player component that can record and playback videos. Let's get started. Hello, my name is Donald and I want to help you build better apps. In today's video, we're going to look at using the camcorder component. Um, so very, very simple to get started with. You drag and drop it into your app. There are no properties to set up or to configure before you uh, use it. And to get started then, what we'll do is we'll use a button then to, let's say, record video or open camcorder or something like that. And let's say record. Like that. Okay. Um, you can check out the video on creating circular buttons then if you want to turn this into more of a like recording style icon. And just to make it easier then, um, what we'll do is we'll go back to media and we'll take a look at the video player component and uh, that'll allow us to view the video after it's been captured. So we'll set our height and our width here to be fill parent like this. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So the source for the video is going to come from the camcorder and we can choose a volume and stuff as well then. Okay, let's have a look at the blocks. Over in our blocks editor, essentially what we're going to do is use the record button that we created there to start recording using our camcorder. So very simple component to use. Again, there's only three blocks here, one procedure here, record video. And when we click the button, then we're going to start recording. And then when we're finished recording, the um, after recording event gives us back this clip variable. So that's the path to the video file on our phone. And what we'll do in order to actually display it is I'm going to set the source here of player one to be the path to this clip. And then once we've got the kind of clip teed up and ready to go, the next thing to do, of course, is just play that um, clip like this by using video player one dot start. All right, so let's preview this on our phone. Over here in our live testing then, we have a, a large kind of black component on the screen. That's the video player itself. There's no source, there's no video to play, so we're gonna have to record something. Let's click on record here. So you can see, you can see my reflection there. We're just viewing a website here in our browser. Um, actually, if I make the website scroll up and down, there you go, that's probably a little bit easier to see. If I hit the record button now, what you can do is record whatever is happening. Okay, uh, five or six seconds should be plenty. And then once we're happy with it, when we hit the little check button here, the after recording event will be triggered. So let's click the little okay button here. Now we've got the um, source set. You can see in my phone anyway, we get a little um, controller, little view, player controller at the bottom. So if we click play, oh, you can even hear me talking. just like that. Um, and so you can go forwards and backwards through your video and you can play the video uh, using the little media player components like that as well. So the camcorder itself is a very simple to use, very easy to get started with. And then once you know where that clip is, what you can do is um, download it, you can share it, you can upload it to something like Cloudinary. So that's just our very quick introduction to the camcorder components for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click the like button, uh, subscribe for more videos. And if you have any questions about using the camcorder in your application, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.